Now I ask you, what can be expected of man? A creature endowed with such strange qualities. You could shower him with every earthly good, drown him in happiness over his head, so that only bubbles will spring up on the surface of this happiness, as on water. You could give him such economic prosperity that he'll have nothing left to do but to sleep, eat pastries, and busy himself with assuring the continuance of world history. And even then, out of sheer ingratitude, sheer nastiness, he will commit some vileness. He'll even risk his pastries and deliberately choose the most pernicious nonsense, the most uneconomical absurdity, solely in order to inject his noxious, fantastic element into all that positive, sensible, so-called sensible, bliss. He will insist on clinging precisely to his own fantastic dreams, his most vulgar folly, solely in order to confirm to himself, as if this were indeed so necessary, that men are still men and not piano keys, which may be played by the hands of natural laws themselves but which are threatened by this very playing to be brought to a state where it will no longer be possible to wish for anything outside of graphs and schedules. But even that isn't all. Even in case he really might turn out to be nothing but a piano key, and even if this were proved to him by the natural sciences and mathematics, man still won't come to his senses and will do something deliberately contrary solely out of ingratitude and to insist on his own way and if he should lack the means to do so he will invent destruction and chaos he will invent a variety of sufferings and will have his own way no matter what, he will unleash a curse upon the world. And since only man is capable of cursing, that's his privilege, by the way, and his chief distinction from other animals, he will, perhaps, attain his end just by his cursing. In other words, he will prove to himself that he is a man and not a piano key. If you will say that all this, the chaos and the darkness and the curse, can be calculated according to a table, so that every possibility of advanced calculation will stop it all, and reason will retain the upper hand, then, man will deliberately go insane for the occasion, precisely in order to have no reason, and still get his way. I believe this, I vouch for it, because all of man's purpose, it seems to me, really consists of nothing but proving to himself every moment that he is a man and not an organ stop, proving it at even the cost of his own skin, even at the cost of turning back into a troglodyte. <laughs>